Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. It's Underdog versus the Big Dog. That's right, John J. Bowman versus E.H. Taylor. Now, I had two reasons for this video. One, um, as I've done a previous video, Blanton's versus John J. Bowman, and I'll link that above if you if you care to watch the outcome of that one. But let's just suffice it to say John J. Bowman is a good alternative to Blanton's if you cannot find it. So the next logical question is, could it be a good alternative to H. Taylor small batch? We're going to find out tonight. Also, in one of the groups I'm in, there was some discussion where a guy said that he thought John J. Bowman was better than E.H. Taylor's small batch, and a lot of angry comments, no, it couldn't be as good as, you know, the delicious Buffalo Trace juice from Colonel himself. Couldn't be that good. So, I have both bottles, so I thought, why not do it tonight? And like always on this channel, let's take a look at the bottles. First up here, the underdog, John J. Bowman from A. Smith Bowman Distillery in Virginia. If you're ever in the Fredericksburg area, take a tour. Um, this is their single barrel offering. It is 100 proof, 50% alcohol by volume. Now, you might say, well, that's a Virginia whiskey. It is and it isn't. This is actually a Buffalo Trace distillate that they, you know, ship it on up there to Virginia and they age it in Virginia. So, don't know if it's Mash Bill 1 or 2. I believe they actually say it could be a mix of Mash Bill 1 and 2. So, pretty similar to both Blanton's and E.H. Taylor's small batch, if that's true. So, this is that's why it's a good alternative to Blanton's, and it might be a good alternative to uh, E.H. Taylor's small batch. So, here in uh, the great state of PA, not available. In every other state in the country, it is available. So, most likely you'll have a good... Uh, good easy time finding this it's about uh, you know 45 to to 55 dollars I believe the MSRP is around around 48 50 bucks um, if you can find a bottle so readily consistently readily available for around fifty dollars we'll say um, here other than that there they have a few other offerings from the A. Smith Bowman distillery so I've done a video on that which I will also link above and you can take a look at that as well if you if you care to. All right, next up, Colonel E. H. Taylor small batch. Some people cry tears and shed blood trying to get this juice right here. Very hard to get um, in the great state of PA. This is, I believe, forty two ninety nine. Um, maybe about once a month or once every other month. Um, some stores get a case or two. So. Still fairly hard to come by. If you do find it, I'm guessing you're paying in, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 maybe um, in your area. So let's just say, although in states that are have state ABC stores, it is cheaper than John J. Bowman. In general, the average price paid is more. This is obviously a bottled and bond product. So again, 100 proof, 50% alcohol by volume. Um, I'm not sure that the age on this, I, I think maybe six to eight roughly is, is what they say. Could be more, could be less. Um, does come in that fancy cardboard tube though. So there's something to be said about that. Let's look at if there's a few facts on the back here. It says, made by hand. Interesting, I don't know how else they'd make it. Some of Taylor's original methods. Wow, they broke out the old notes. This small batch of bourbon whiskey has been aged inside warehouses constructed by him over a century ago. Also very interesting. A small batch of these select barrels were then blended together to deliver a distinctive character that is like no other. Well, that may or may not be true. We'll also find that out tonight. So there you have it. Uh, I did forget to mention that the John J. Bowman is anywhere from 9 to 12 years old. That's what they say on the distillery tour. All right, so my wife uh, begrudgingly tonight poured these blind. Um, so they are in these uh, glasses here. We just don't know uh, which is which. 
and we do have the Christmas colors because I like using those on the channel. First up, the red Glen Cairn here. I get some peaches, some apricots, oak, caramel. Traditional bourbon flavors with, with the additional fruits that I mentioned. Vanilla, caramel, oak, and some peaches. That's what I get in the nose of this one. Let's give it a sip. Oh, that was pretty good. I will say um, a lot of similar flavors in that as one that I got off the nose there. Um, some oak, caramel, vanilla. I did get that, you know, peach apricot flavor, but I also got just a hint of, like, cola flavor. So I'm leaning that this might be the H. Taylor. That's my guess. Overall, very good. All right. Next uh, glass here, the green Glencairn. Ooh, this one's got a darker caramel and vanilla note and a deeper oak note to this. Um, arguably similar, I will say they're similar, but this is missing like that peach apricot is not there. And the caramel and the vanilla and the oak is like a deeper, darker, richer nose to it, I will say that. Mmm, smells fantastic. Let's take a sip. Oh, that's very good. Deep, dark, rich flavors, like I said. It's probably more straightforward. There's less heat to it, but the finish lasts longer, surprisingly. Um, it's just very dense caramel, you know, that vanilla, and then just more oak all the way through. Very delicious. These are actually pretty close, I'm not going to lie here. And I am, I am having a hard time... Um, picking a winner. So let me go back through them here in reverse order. The green one again. Just what a pleasant nose. Again, the same flavors. Great long finish. Delicious. Alright. The red. Again, it just has like a sweeter slightly fruity nose and but then it's not as dark caramel and not as much oak. that's kind of the difference here between these two let's take a sip good flavors um drinks a little bit hotter but the finish is shorter um, on that one although they're both 100 so <clears throat> i'm gonna this was tough i'm gonna go with the green glass um only because i like that darker richer flavor um, but if you like sweeter bourbons you might although they're both sweet you might prefer the red glass I will say that so I'm, I'm gonna stick with my original guess and say that the red glass is E.H. Taylor and the green glass is John J. Bowman but I'm not sure let me get the answer key and find out all right <clears throat> got the old answer key here the green and our winner tonight is the John J. Bowman so there you have it. John J. Bowman is a good alternative to E.H. Taylor. If you don't have E.H. Taylor, and you can find this, pick it up. Very similar juice. And you're probably going to pay less for this unless you can routinely find it in a state-controlled liquor system. Um, delicious bourbon, the John J. here. Um, comes out swinging again. Now, these are single barrels, so again... You may have a better barrel than this. You may have a worse barrel than this. So it could be dependent on that um, in particular. The H. Taylor, though, uh, this was much closer, uh, spoiler alert, than the Blanton's video. The Blanton's video, was a, there was a blowout winner. Um, in this video, very close. I had a tough time picking between these two. Um, I could see how someone could say either one is better. It really depends on your palate preference, but they are close. So, believe me, do not overpay for E.H. Taylor's small batch. I like it. Would I run out and buy another bottle? No. I got way better, way better stuff than E.H. Taylor's small batch floating around um, that I prefer to drink over it. Uh, hell, I think even Knob Creek 9, you know, or I should say Knob Creek 9 store picks at 120 proof are, are, are a heck of a lot better. So, 
if you can find a used Taylor small batch in your area and you're and you're not paying you know more than 50 60 bucks for it okay um, if you really enjoy it go ahead for that but but do not pay more than that it is just not worth it when there's a readily available $50 bottle that is just as good generally all right so if you like what we saw tonight please like comment and subscribe and have a great evening